We arrived in Sydney, Australia, and for the next four days, we would be here to see Lee's mum, stay with family, and also took up an opportunity to meet an organisation here in Sydney doing amazing things for its community. So, here we go. This We're in massive. Sydney. What's the, did we go under the bridge in the water? So, we've driven into the city. It was a bit of a rest that we uh, have taken. <laughs> we went across, we got stuck on a road and went under the tunnel, under the harbour. Darling Harbour. Now we're coming back across the Darling Harbour Bridge. Um, it's a little bit tricky driving in the city, isn't it, honey? It is. It takes a little extra concentration than uh, sailing on Catalpa. <laughs> you get stuck on a road, like you've got to pick your lane correctly because if you're in the wrong lane, who knows where you can go. And the GPS isn't, well, we, we have trouble with the clarity of the roads and which one we're on. We lost our GPS signal when we went underground, that was all. Yeah, we got stuck in two tunnels. We went through two tunnels. Lost the GPS twice. All right, so today we're heading to Wayside Chapel and have a bit of a tour around King's Cross. So. King's Cross is in Sydney and was once known as the nation's most famous red light district. At its height, the inner city hub was a melting pot of crime, violence, illegal drugs, clubs and prostitution. Corrupt police, gangsters, pimps and drug lords ruled the streets. Just the place you'd think this sailing family would love to hang out. Well, no, but we got invited to Wayside to do a tour of what they do to help the community and a tour of the streets here in King's Cross. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're in for, but it should be fun. This is Rob, a former gang leader and addict that now works at Wayside, inspiring others with his story. We sat down with Rob as he told us about Wayside and some of his history on the streets of King's Cross. The primary reason why they first opened the Wayside Chapel, something hit the streets of King's Cross and changed the social world in this country upside down. Heroin, cocaine, people not trying to fix people, providing them the support and the engagement and the connection they need for whatever they, wherever they are in their lives, basically. Being treated as an equal, looked at as an equal and not trying to be fixed is what embodies and makes us who we are and that's why I'm so fortunate today to have the role that I have, the position that I have, so that I can inspire and motivate not just homeless, alcoholics and drug addicts, but the society. To get society to see young, to see people as an equal and not as a problem. To hear more of Rob's story and Wayside, there will be a link in the description below. But simply, this place offers a community for people that need one. So it's not like most places where it's all in a big dish and it's just, no, that's not how you, you wouldn't eat like that out of a restaurant. Come on through. Rob also took us on a tour of King's Cross, sharing some of its colourful history and iconic places. Did you know it used to be called King's Cross? No, I didn't know. And they changed it to King's Cross. It's known as, the nickname is Injecting Alley. I'm going to take you over a 200 metre walk now. And I can promise you that 4,700 people have died right here. Why is that? Because they died of an overdose. As confronting as this was, it was really interesting to hear about the places in our own country that we knew nothing about. Obviously, also an eye-opener for all of us hearing the stories from these streets. This is the most dangerous laneway in Sydney. Not now, but it used to be told us some epic stories and filled us in and what he's doing and we think it's amazing and yeah thank you for Pleasure. showing us around and awesome. inspiring people. So. Well, you inspire the people out there so this is what we're about, this is what we do, right? Yeah. Thank you very much for coming to Wayside, taking time out, bringing the young ones. Keep doing what you're doing because you're inspiring people as well. You're motivating people also to make changes in the world, that's awesome. Yeah. It's mad. Thanks again Rob, you are genuinely such a beautiful human doing great things. Today is Mother's Day here in Australia. Lee's mum lives near Maroubra, but today we thought we would go for a drive down south. Sydney's coastline is beautiful, and how's this for a cracker of a day? If I simply want to trace you to feel your color on my hands And if I simply can't erase you 
Mum's only request for today was a swim at the beach. Easy pleased and crazy. It was freezing. Mother's Day lunch we had at a local pub. Well, I just simply want to love you And simply feel I like a choice Then up to the headland for some ice cream. Happy Mother's Day, Mummy and Nanny. We love you so much. And you simply are the same. Just for me? It's as simple as me and you. It's our last day today in Australia. Um, we're in Sydney and we fly out tonight at nine o'clock. I'm to get up. We gotta wake up now. Good morning, baby. Gonna wake up? We had our last swim here in sunny Australia. Thank you again, Alex, for lending us this car. You are an absolute legend. See you next trip. Okay, I love you. you. Good to see you. Said our goodbyes and headed to the airport. Bella doesn't want to sit by herself tonight, so what do you reckon, Belle? Taj isn't feeling that great, guys. Train gate's 56. Hopefully it's close. Thanks, Grandpa. Thank you. Yeah. So then we're just calling final call for our flight. And we were at the way the other end of the airport as usual. But we got on. You got seats all to yourself. Guess so what? Roll Guess the what? Swag out here and... Guess what? I'm coming over later. No, you're not. I'm coming over later. She's not coming over. Yes, I am. Lee not impressed that the people got moved next to him? How's the fly? Taj kicked me. I know. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome to Malaysia. J7. 308. Two uh, hours to wait. One and a half. One and a half, beautiful. Over an hour to go. It's the very last gate at the end of the airport. <laughs> but we made sure we got here with plenty of time to spare. One and a half hours later, we arrived in Lankawi. Hey, we're just getting off the plane, we just landed in Lankawi. My friend. It's pretty warm, not too bad, but it's pretty warm. Welcome to Lankawi. sweet home it's a bit of a mess crazy mess at the moment it's really hot but we haven't eaten and we're really tired but we have got everything Taj is uh, out cold in his room he hasn't been too well so he's a sleeping what's this down here Bella's got a little stash of um Tim Tams bullet we unpacked all the goodies that we brought back these are things that we couldn't get here nah 
new braid, new line, got a new TLD, uh, 25 overhead reel. Um, Sarah's got a heap more hard drives to work with. Got new GoPro, which is getting, we're using it at the moment. Got a new dive house. Got heaps of sex wax, got heaps of lures, heaps of spare fins. We can wrap up the Lyra again. Uh, hole punches, dive batteries, dive computers. Thanks, Pete. Um, timber pegs. Timber pegs, because Sarah can't handle when a plastic <laughs> peg goes overboard. So we bought them all the way from Oz, because we couldn't find any over here. New leaf for my computer. Yeah. A few bits and pieces, recall piece for the Honda generator, some organic More sunscreen, uh, but heaps sunscreen. of sunscreen. I've also got this sunscreen from um, Chasing Eden and it's really really awesome and my sister-in-law actually tried it out while we were back there and she said it was really good, I haven't used it yet. Excited for that, thank you guys, that was amazing www.chasingeden.com.au and you can get yourself some natural sunscreen. It's good for the reef, it's good for your skin and uh, yeah, help the environment while helping yourself. Beautiful. We've got some of our favourite goodies from Australia that you can't really find over here so... Oh, chocolates! Lots of tea, we love our teas so we've got heaps of herbal tea. We've got pesto. And also we got some seeds for our muesli making. Lots of teas. Lots of teas. Pine nuts. That's about all. Some delicious goodies. Does that don't feel like I've slept for 24 hours? I slept. I'm still a bit tired. After a nap, we made our way out for a swim. Had a swim. I'm gonna go back, have some spaghetti, and go to sleep. Oh, I'm ready for bed. Bella was all dis dis disorientated. She woke up, we'd had a sleep. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. She said, What? Have I slept all night? We we're all disorientated. It's about seven. Go back, have some food, go to bed, get back into Malaysian time. Blah, 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 So Lee and I have got the car. We've just come over to get some food. Some guys have date day, date night, we have shopping day. Yeah, the kids have stayed behind so we're having a date. Not much food on the boat so we're coming over to Sudaka. Get some fruit and veggies. And um, it's weird being back in Malaysia. Just concentrating at the moment. I haven't driven a manual for so long. He's driving a manual car which we usually get an automatic. It's a bit of hit and miss with this. We picked it up and the uh, fuel light's flashing on and off. Could have actually run out in the bush on the way to the fuel station, but we didn't. That was That's good. That's all good. We're just going to do our shopping, get some fruit and veggies, and get back. The kids are cleaning, hopefully. How much cleaning do you think they're going to do? They've got no internet, so... I guess Keep they may, maybe they them. will yeah. clean. Yesterday. Still feel a little bit jet lagged, but feel way better today than yesterday. The supermarket here is pretty good and you can get most things that we need. They have a big selection of fruit and veggies and also a variety of western food. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you see you next time when we do some renos on Catalpa in our galley.